All right, guys, I'm trying to get really good at Union Arena. So super pre-releases are coming up. So we're going to keep a little bit of focus right now on the super pre-release. I just want to feel the perfect motion. Uh, I want to feel how many energies. I feel like you need to always keep something in the energy line to move forward in case to block so you can recycle. It's almost like every turn you want to recycle at least one or two energy liners out and bring in something else into the energy line and I'm just uh, it's a very interesting uh, game I'm not gonna lie the game is very difficult there's a lot of moving parts in it so let's jump right in here there's a small video I found uh, it's kind of POV but it's got good quality let's see how this game is going to go it's a very quick game and uh, yeah it's just a super pre-release so both of them are playing Hunter x Hunter which is gonna be really good I haven't seen a Hunter x Hunter full game Looks like he has a nice hand there. He's got a couple of zero costs. He's got the Leroy with the two energy generation, the three cost though. He doesn't have the Leroy, the one cost. So, wow, he actually mulligans the whole hand. Uh, it's going to give him a really good option because we didn't see any zero cost gones. So he's probably going to draw the gone he needs here. And he also might see a Leroy, which is a really strong start. I think that's what he's looking forward to start. Now he's going to put his life up. And let's look at his hand, see what he has here. Let's see how he wants to start this game. So he's going to go ahead and... Oh, there's the Gons. Now, I don't see any Leroy, so it's going to be a little bit tough. He needs to draw into his energy generation. He's starting. He goes for the... He's not going to draw, obviously. He's just going to go for the Gone. And I think he really doesn't have anything else to do next turn. He has to actually energy generate that zero cost uh, back into the back line because there's nothing else. He needs to draw into a Leroy right now. That would be the best way to play this game. So obviously going second allows you to play two cards because you have two action cards. Gets another gone. Really not what we were looking for. We wanted the Leroy. Uh, so we're going to exactly. We're going to have to play the guns down. Allow for. Oh, that's a draw a card. That's a draw a card. So that's a two cost draw a card. Gives you one energy generation. Unfortunately, not gonna lie guys, this Hunter x Hunter on our side, the point of view of him is kind of uh, difficult right now, he's in a bad position. He's not got the draw uh, draw he wants, he doesn't have any 6 costs, doesn't have any 5 costs, doesn't have any 1 card, doesn't have any double regeneration. There's a 6 cost, he just drew it, but uh, he really can't play it with no energy generation. Now Corpico is a great option here to play on the sideline, I put it, but he is in movement phase, so what I would do is move, oh you don't, you can't even move your energy. That sucks because you need the energy generation. Well, you do have a zero cost, so you could, uh, yeah, just move move that one card. So I would move the card to the right, forward, the draw a card. Then I would play an, a zero cost energy generation so I can get to the three, so I can play the Corpy in the sideline, or, yeah, in the energy line. And uh, after that, you have one guy protecting, or actually you can attack with him this turn right now. So all you have to do is move that card forwards. So you just move this the two cost, yeah, move it forward in your movement phase. Then your next phase play in your main phase play is the zero cost energy generation, then a corpico energy generation. Now you got five energy generator. And you can move one of those cards forwards and get another two energy generator and then play out your six cost next turn. No, no, no. This is I think a wrong scenario. It makes sense. I mean it's kind of similar to what he I mean it, it's really not gonna be a big deal. One of the guns is going to be gone anyways, and uh, th these guns are going to move forward anyways, because they're honestly not that great. They, they, they don't, you don't want that energy generation. You want um, more energy generation. You want two energy generators. The problem is moving the gun is going to really give you a predicament when you have, for example, the raider. And, or let's say you drew two raiders, it'll hurt you. That's why I wanted to move that draw. Now, of course, Gon can attack. It's going to land 100%. There's no blockers. But uh, let's see what the options are for our opponent here. He could move things from his energy line. I, yeah, he would move only one card. That's the card that our, opponent, uh, that our player that we were looking at should have moved forwards. At least he could... Uh, I mean, you can't really battle, but... You want the gone freezes, I think, in the back uh, energy line because you could raid them. It just doesn't make sense for me to move it out early when I don't need to. Now, this is a kind of a crazy scenario. I don't know why did we just do the movement of the Leroy uh, forward. That's a two energy generator. 
that doesn't need to be in the main field right now. We could still complete the energy generation. It's too early to really pull them out. Uh, but let's see how the Hunter x Hunter goes off. I think that was actually a wrong move. I think he didn't need to play it there. But, uh, ah, yeah, he does lose a lot of his two energy generators. Now, he did replace it with another potential double energy generator, the Whale Island. But look at him. Right now, he only has four energy regeneration, which is very bad. Because he had four before removing the Leroy. Okay, Leroy attacks. Of course, nothing's going to get blocked, so I don't even understand why he moved the Leroy. You could have literally moved that zero cost forward, and it would have given you the same uh, exact stats. You would be in a better position. I'd be, actually, you would have one, two, three, four, five. You would have five energy. Right now, you only have four. Now, of course, your uh, field would be a little bit weaker. But there it is. Corpico comes out. Uh, Corpico gives him... Okay, so we got all the energy we need. We got six energy now. Let's see how strong this card is. Now, the problem is it comes off sideways, doesn't it? So you can't really attack with it. Can he attack with it? Yeah, he can't attack with it. Exactly. That's what I was about to say. Is that a misplay? The, there it is. Uh, uh, obviously, uh, this raider has an impact one. So we're not going to block. Now I know why we don't block Gone Freezes and the six cost. This is why actually this deck is better than the Bleach deck. Is because these two five costs, they're so strong. These two five costs and above, they're so strong. Both of them have impact. Both of them can do a lot both of them uh do a like insane amounts of damage and it just forces you in a position where you literally cannot block every time blocking makes you lose the game like playing the game makes you lose automatically so it's very tough to go against the hunter x hunter deck with the bleach now it's doable but it's very very hard let's see what the opponent wants to do here he has no energy really he needs to play out a gone freses it doesn't have uh the energy is necessary to play out the Gone Freses. That's why he moved the Leroy's. He had too many Leroy's in hand. Now, he does have a full board, but the board's going to get emptied out within a moment here. Because um, we're just going to block everything. No, it's not that it's going to empty out. It's just that he can only get maybe two attacks in this turn. And then next turn, he literally has a full board that he cannot get rid of. Because I don't think you can sideline your characters. They have to die. So that means right now, our opponent is completely locked in the game. He cannot play a single new card. Do you understand? He needs to block next turn so he can get rid. The problem is his blocks might not be effective because of the impact. So what I would do for example... Oh, you could, you could actually sideline cards, I guess. I guess you could sideline cards. That's what he just did. He just sidelined one card for the same card. I don't even know why he did that. Just to waste an action point, I guess. I don't know. That's weird. Another side. What, what is he doing? He's just wasting action points. Okay, taking the first hit. He has three more attacks. Let's see what he's going to do. Block it. We're going to block the next one. Yeah, we can. And then we can block the last one. We could have blocked it, but Gone Freses would die. I don't know if we have another Raider. But we're in a really strong position right now, guys. As uh, the, the, the point of view guy. Moving one of our sideline forwards. Uh, now that we have four energy... Oh, there, there it is. We're at six now. Easily. But we don't have any six costs. What do we want to do here? That's what I'm telling you. He should have actually killed the gone, I think. Okay, so we're going to just start attacking. Uh, blocking is happening. We are going to not lose a single card on the board, unfortunately. Because gone cannot kill anything. And uh, he can't block anything because both the cards are impacting. Yep, exactly. So even though he's guarding, he's blocking. Why did he just put it in his hand? No, 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 no. There's a misplay. He just put that in his hand. That was wrong. 
impact does not go into hand. Okay, that's fine. A misplay there. No worries, guys. Uh, unfortunately, you can see Hunter x Hunter is so strong when he has those big guys on the board. I just don't know how the opponent is going to come back from this. He doesn't have a gun in the back, so he can't raid and move sideline forwards. He doesn't have really anything to on the board that gives him a lot of energy. He literally has four, five energy generation right now. There's the gun. Unfortunately, it's not, it's, it's not going to actually be raiding, which would have been huge, I think, if he could raid. Unfortunate. Because all he needs is like two more attacks. Okay, so he's going to be able to kill one of these guys. So he's going to kill probably the double attacker. Yep. And uh, sideline the double attacker. Let's see, does he have another event? If he could sideline one more gone, that would be amazing. Because. Uh, our opponent is struggling. I think these guys need to be drawing a little bit more. You can see they have a lot of action points. Like last turn, the guy had uh, to waste action points because he didn't want to do anything. He could have just drawn. I think the opponent is going to lose the game here. Now, we don't have enough cards to get through. But we're going to empty his board out. There's a trigger, but I guess it doesn't do anything. All right, so one more impact wins the game next turn. So we actually need to get rid of that gone Freses now. That's the only way we can survive this turn. You need to draw an extra card with your action point. Did, did these guys forget that they can get an extra draw every turn? I think these guys are forgetting they can draw every turn. So you can sideline, uh, but, but you don't sideline them. You literally get rid of them from the game. Okay. Very unfortunate that they're forgetting to draw cards because right now he needs the draw so bad. I don't know, guys. It seems like unless we can kill that Gone Freses, we're losing the game. We don't have another way out. We don't have another way out. We don't have another way out. It's over. It's just over. We lose the game. The problem is Gone Frisses has uh, impact, so even us blocking him doesn't do anything. So the second Gone Frisses attacks, he wins the game. Can you believe we had Gone Frisses and that guy for two turns, we still lose the game? Why? Because our opponent was able to move cards in from the energy line to the main line much faster, much more effectively. Even though he went second, he had full control over the game doesn't matter what this guy's doing. You have impact. So whatever you do, you attack, you win the game. Good game. What a great game. No way. <gasps> no way. This heals you. This card heals you. Holy moly. Now I have nightmares. I'm going to have nightmares. This is insane. What? What? So now we guarantee a win. Because the opponent didn't move anything from the energy line forwards. So he can't guard any of our attacks. Wow. How the games have flipped. Wow. When you thought you were winning 100%, you lose. Wow. That's crazy. Bro, I don't even know why he's playing. Like, he just has to attack. Like, it's almost no way you can lose the game now. <gasps> he gets it too! But unfortunately, because he gets one more attack. Oh my god, what an insane game that was. What? What? 
Both of them hit at the last trigger. Heals and bo oh my god, what an ami what a crazy freaking game. I can't believe it. I actually didn't know that's how it's gonna end. But slowly, guys, I'm getting a little bit more understanding of UA. So there's a lot of moving parts, moving from energy si to sideline, having enough energy, getting the energy generation, drawing when you need to. They missed a lot of action points, draw power, I think, because you can use action points to draw. They missed a lot of those opportunities. The game is so much fun, though. I, I can't believe that they already have triggers that heal you the first set. I mean, the game is going to be amazing. I can't wait for it. Uh, excited. What do you guys think about the game? I'll show you more content, guys. We're going to start playing the game very soon. And yeah, join the Discord. Hang out with us. Tell us about what you think. We're going to become masters of the game. Let's become masters together.